We're back. My word. My we word. are back, girl. Baby. Okay. So now, nothing can ruin our judge home, girls. No, nobody. Boys. No one, nothing. Okay, so, and then when you have these conversations, this is like real estate, and or you start being an entrepreneur, and you're like, I can't have conversations with people, they don't get it, okay? When you talk to your people, like right now, me and Gia having this conversation, it's like time goes like this, honey, okay? And you feed off of people's energy, so being an entrepreneur, you feed off of people's energy. They're not going to look at you sideways, honey. They're going to be like, oh, my God, you know, I did that too. But you know what? Maybe you could add this, and then you're going to give them feedback, and you guys all give each other feedback. It's not like the nine-to-five world where, you know, people are at, you know, the water cooler, and they're talking about, oh, I hate my wife. I hate my husband. Boss, like, they're focused. It's like it's a different judge, people, okay? When you find your people, it's like, yes, darling, we're here, okay? <laughs> So it's like, oh my God, and it's just such a beautiful space where you're surrounded with people who want to help you succeed. We all want to see each other win, you know? Sincerely. Yeah, like, sincerely. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And it's like I say, you know, with women, women could be just women together could be the most catty, catty. You know, they can look at you and not even like you. They don't even know you. Okay. But we're so much stronger together and people whatever so now i'm digressing so now <laughs> we were talking about well, we were talking about your vision board do your vision board before the new year so what make is your vision board? okay because here's the thing i want you to go into that describe describe to me what your vision board consists of because there's some people that have heard that terminology before but they don't know what it really consists of i know what my vision board is but you describe yours okay so what is it Instead of actually explaining mine, I'm going to tell you how you need to do your board. Your vision board is essentially the life you want to create for yourself. Okay? And everyone's life that they want to create for themselves is different. Okay? So, maybe you want to work for yourself. Okay? And you want to get out of the nine to five. How do you want to work for yourself? Maybe you want to start um, a coaching business or maybe you want to start health. I just want to leave this little tidbit because this is so profound to me that the self-education business is over a 300, and I want you to really listen hard, and no, I did not make a mistake, it's an over a $300 billion a day industry, a $300 billion a day industry. So my point is that, okay? And again, I'm digressing a little bit, but I, I'm, I'm saying this to you that it's an industry that, because meaning people are hiring me, Jennifer, to teach them how to wholesale and get their mind right, okay? People are hiring someone to teach them how to dance, and all online, teach, you know, teach me how to cook vegan, teach me how to do this, teach me how to do that. People are paying for that. It's a $300 billion. So if you're working for a job that you don't have, think about what gift you have that you could share. And you start, you start with one person, two person, three person, your authentic calls to help people. And because you love it, it's your passion, you do it for free. Yeah. Okay? But now you're getting paid to do it. Can I just tell you, it is like I manifested my coaching business. Okay? That was a manifestation to help people. And I'm not, I'm a very private person. So the fact that, and believe it or not, I'm going to tell you, I know people don't believe this, but... I'm an introvert, and I actually am shy. I, I, you know, you know, when I, even when I go to, you know, big events now, I really, I'm a little, like, I would rather be a wallflower, yeah. believe it or not, okay? And I feel very drained after those events. I'm very good, like, being at home alone with my puppies, my man, and I don't need to be on the blah, blah, blah. So I'm very private. So the higher spirit, and again, I'm getting a little deep, but is what told me to do that YouTube channel because uh, you're going to help people. I didn't realize how, how powerful that channel was going to be, yeah. okay? Um, you know, and it's just very raw to the point. It's no fancy editing. Like, uh, I'm like... But it's filled with helpful jewels. And once again, here's my thing. I, I always say it, the messenger matters. No one says it the way Jennifer West Granahan says it. And that's why your messaging spoke to me. That's why when people found out that we were doing this live, 
my DMs blew up. I love that. I love that. But that's what I'm saying. We're so much more powerful together. Okay? Like, so you have to come out of your comfort zone. Okay? Yeah. And, you know, my, so my point is that if you, when you're doing your vision board, first of all, my point is that you can monetize your passion. Whatever it is. And maybe that's something that I need to teach people how to do. Yes. I... <laughs> yes, yes, <carry> <laughs> because what's so crazy is that I was doing that when I would go out and I would talk to people. What's your passion? This is how you could monetize it. This is what you could do. I was doing it like naturally. Okay. So my point is that the, the, this day and age people you could capitalize something that you're passionate about. Start it off as a side judge, okay? Do your nine to five. And if it's wholesaling, let it be wholesaling. If it's real estate, let it be real estate, okay? So my point is that, let's just say you start a business and you're teaching someone how to cook vegan, honey, okay? Because they don't want to spend all the time and research that you did, okay? They just want it handed to them on a silver platter. This is what I need to do. These are my basic ingredients, Okay, and you do a, you you start off with five students, honey, and you just charge them whatever, four hundred bucks. What is four times five, honey? That's two thousand. I mean, four times okay. five is twenty, but I'm thinking four hundred. So. Yeah, no, you're right. It's it's two thousand. Okay, with your five students. So an extra two thousand on so on top of your job for helping people and doing something that you would do for free anyway, and you're passionate about it. Yep. Okay, you're going to attract these people. So, okay, I'm digressing, but I just want to tell you that people who feel stuck, you're stuck because you choose to be stuck. Okay, you don't want to get out of your comfort zone. This day and age, nobody in their right mind should be living paycheck to paycheck. Yes. Thank you. Nobody. Can you say that again. Nobody in their right mind in this day and age should be living paycheck to paycheck. There's too many opportunities. Then. There are way too many opportunities, honey. We're talking about like Uber has Uber has car a car thing, a fleet, but they own no darn cars. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like all these things have all these companies. Like I have a business banking thing. It's a new banking that I discovered called Aslo. It's like Uber. It's Aslo, but it has no physical banks, and they they don't charge you a ton of fees. It's great for entrepreneurs, honey. Okay, it's called Aslo. <laughs> Aslo better pay me, homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like there are these so many opportunities, guys, that you're sleeping on them because society wants to dumb you down. They want you to be afraid. They want you to second guess yourself. They want you to depend on that one source of income where you could have your own business and then maybe you're selling T-shirts. Like I know people who are in e-commerce that are killing it. Okay, with one product, okay? So there are so many different ways to make money. You should not be living paycheck to paycheck. You have to strategize and just start and stay consistent. So now, as far as your vision board, yeah. your vision board needs to be the life that you see for yourself. Okay. Okay, so it could be anything, you know, for materialistic things. Maybe right now you're living in an apartment. Maybe you want to buy a house, mm -hmm. okay? So the house that you see yourself in, where is this house that you see yourself in? Okay, what, what city is it in? What town is it in? What color are the walls? How many square feet does it have? Does it have bushes? Does it have trees? Does it have a pool? Okay, are you close to people? Are you are not close to people? Do you have a long driveway? Do you have a short driveway? Do you have the one door? Do you have double doors? Are the doors black? Are the doors red? I, I want you to get clear, okay? What vacation do you want to take? How many people do you want to help? How much money do you want to make this year? Okay, maybe you want to get, maybe you want to find a relationship. A companionship. What qualities does this person have? You can't just do physical attributes, okay? Because one of my students just did physical attributes, and she found that physical attribute person, but it wasn't the core values, okay? You have to get clear, okay? Because you could have, listen, there are a lot of pretty people out there, honey, but once they start opening their mouth, they are ugly. Yeah. <laughs> ugly! <laughs> So, okay, so what core values does this person have? Are they family-oriented? Are they into fitness? You know, are they, you know, not into drugs? Like, and I'm not saying just like regular illegal drugs. I'm talking about like regular prescription, you know, medication people abuse. You know, you have to have the same core values, 
It doesn't matter what that person looks like. Get clear on that, okay? And, you know, don't, oh, and then put like powerful words, like I am limitless, financial freedom. You don't want to put like, you don't, one of the things that you don't want to put is like debt free. And the reason why is because you're focusing on the word debt. Yeah. And that's kind of, that doesn't make people feel good. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Okay. So instead of saying debt free, you say, I am financially free. Okay. I am financially free. Okay. You, you, you tap at the top, you put 2020, new year, 2020. I am limitless. I am financially free. I am healthy. I am creating my best life. I am working for myself. I am helping people, whatever, whatever you want to help them do. Get clear. You're not clear right now because society has blocked you. So you have to think about it again because maybe you forgot what you loved. Mm -hmm. Maybe you used to love doing ceramic and you forgot. Maybe you love to dance, but you forgot that you love to dance. You're like, eh, I did that when I was younger, but you have a passion for it. Remember what made your heart sing. The higher power wants you to feel abundance. They want abundance for us. They don't want you to feel lack. They don't want you to feel stressed out. I'm going to give this analogy, and I'm going to go back to the vision board. Remember this. A flower just blooms. Flower just blooms. Okay? Meaning that you just need to be, but you need to believe. Okay? And I, I'm going to give you a personal example is that when I first, like, I'm definitely a worker, okay? Like, I was going to school, I was working on my business, I was, like, pushing, 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 pushing. Sometimes that push creates a resistance. It's a block, and you, you're not getting because you're pushing too hard, okay? You, and I'm not telling you to not do the work. I'm telling you that you just need to chill out, okay? The higher power, you have to trust it. I would, I would be like this, because I was with my husband, boyfriend at the time, and I'm like, I can't go to the movies. I don't got time for the movies, okay? I got to be focused on my school. I got to focus on my work, okay? I don't got time to be enjoying myself. I can't enjoy myself when I know I should be working, when it's the, that's the wrong mentality to have. Because remember, you have to be in the space as though you're where you want to be now. So you have to let yourself enjoy things. You have to let yourself enjoy a movie. Go out and, you know, be in that space now, okay? Because none of us are promised tomorrow. You have to be in that space now. And this is why I say get delusional in your practice, okay? So, like, if you're with a partner or you're with yourself, you know, fake that. I'll give you an example of something that I did. Okay, like I used to make believe I was on the phone with a contractor out of state because out of my comfort zone is investing out of state because we'll bring it back to real estate because, you know, we're in real estate. Um, and I'll be like, yeah, okay, so this needs to be done and that needs to be done. This is not even a real combo, people, okay? Okay, yes, that needs to be done. And then, oh, okay, and that's okay. All right, I'll be in town in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay, play Okay, now I played make-believe, honey, just like a child. Sounds so silly, okay? But now I, manif I am investing out of state. It's not in my comfort zone, okay? Because I like to see, feel, touch every part of the aspect. But now I'm having those conversations. What? The real conversations now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my point is that you know, get that childlike imagination back. Get that vivid visualization, mm -hmm. okay? See it, feel it. Repetition is power. I am limitless. I am a millionaire. I'm a multimillionaire. I'm helping millions of people. I am serving my higher power. I'm stepping into my greatness. Everybody has a gift to give, but you have to figure out what that is for yourself. Everybody has a gift to give. Everybody has a greatness. Everybody has greatness. Yes. We okay. Were all great. We reflect him. We're all, all great. We are all great. I had to share this quick story with you. It's in alignment with um, Please. manifestation, right? So at the yes. end of the year of 2019, I for me, I had the goal financially. I was like, oh, it'd be awesome if I eventually had a net worth of a million dollars, right? And so I recognized the key point for me 
was to realize that that is attainable. And so I recognized, okay, to make it attainable, I need to know millionaires. So I made the goal that one day by the end of this year, I would have the phone number of five millionaires on my phone. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm audacious. <laughs> bad. I said, I want the phone numbers of five millionaires. Five. Not two. I said, not two. I want to come to them. <laughs> not two. Not five. <laughs> Yes. Okay. And one of them, one of them whom I adore uh, is Gary Vee, right? I adore Gary, Gary Vee. Love the guy, right? So <laughs> what I did is I, on my little iPhone, I put in <laughs> Gary Vaynerchuk. I took a picture, a screenshot, it, put it in my phone, and I put some bogus phone numbers in. I put a fake email in. <laughs> so Okay. I was yes. Like, okay. Okay. Yes. And then fast forward to March, and guess who was at a conference? Gary Vaynerchuk. Yes. And long story short, I told him that I had a vision board. I don't think I told you. It, I put it on the vision board that one day I'll have Gary V's phone number on my phone. And I told him, and he gave me his phone number. There you go. Do you see what we're saying? He gave me his phone number. I still get. I mean, if you would have like. You set the intention, you believed it, yeah. you put it, you played make believe. Yes, this I is why we I say get delusional, believe. get delusional in your practice. Again, it seems silly, but it's not silly because the subconscious doesn't know the difference between real and fake. And it's all energy. Okay? It's all energy. Yeah. It's very powerful. And this is what should make you wake up and feel excited. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you are in control. You can be in control. You can't, you are a co creator. Why do you think the heart? The society does this to you because they want to dumb you down, darlings. It's deliberate in design. It's deliberate in design to do that to you, okay? And you either, I just did a post the other day. It was like a post with a message. And it said like, birth, you know, being born, school, work, and then death, okay? And it was like on um, a conveyor belt, okay? And then it showed like one person running away. And then on the computer, yeah, on the computer screen, it was like error, 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 error. You know what I mean? Like malfunction. Go get that person. Okay, like that's us, guys. If you're on this and you're feeling like I'm meant for more, this is, can't be my whole life. You know, I don't. Want to, this can't be. Like I'm waking up. I, I have like I can't. Like it's because you're meant for more. Okay, so you have to dig deep. You have to get quiet. Okay, I'm going to go back to the vision board. I want to recommend this meditation. Um, it's an, it's a, um, a guided meditation. For those of you who have not, you know, who, who can't get quiet, it's very helpful. And Deepak Chopra and Oprah have these 21-day meditation um, challenges, okay? And they're usually free. Just, just um, Google Deepak Chopra, D-E-E-P-A-K-C-H-O-P-R-A, 21-day meditation they have a whole library, okay? And it gets you um, into that space with source. Yeah. And it's very, I know it's not easy to quiet the mind. That's why I started with that, okay? And the more you do it, the easier it gets. I promise you, and the time is like, oh my God, it went so fast. So now back to the vision board. Yes. The vision board is the life that you see for yourself. Now you're gonna put that somewhere where you see it on a daily basis, okay? Now, the best way for, in my, for me, and I'm gonna, you know, you could use this if, or not, to activate that vision board is, honey, put your jam on, okay? Because looking at the vision board just flat, sometimes it's hard to get into that mode, yeah. just looking at it, you know? But if you have like a jam on, that's like your jam of the moment, first of all, that's already raising your, your vibrational frequency, okay? So get to that space, get to that space. Now you're looking at that board, okay? Now I don't want you to be in the board like you're watching yourself in a movie. That's not what I want. I want you to look to be in the board. So if you are in your car that you want, you are seeing only your hands open the door. You're not seeing your whole body. Gotcha. You are in the experience through your eyes, not through yourself watching a video, okay? Because you want to have the experience like you're seeing it from your own eyes. So you're going to your car, you're opening the door, you're smelling that new car leather. Okay, you, what jams are you putting on in that car? Who are you picking up in that car? Where are you going in that car? Okay, and you're not in that car because you're living in your mama's basement 
okay? And, you know, you, you, all your money's going to that car. You're in that car because you reached a certain level of financial freedom that you could easily attain this, this liability mm -hmm. at the end of the day, okay? And you're like, D that's right, bro. I got this, and I look real cute, okay? And I'm not broke every month either. And you're just, like, loving life, okay? So now if you're going for that vacation, let's just say it's, you know, at a Caribbean place, you are seeing the sand and you're feeling the hot sand in your feet. Okay, you are hearing that beach water. This is where you have to get that childlike imagination back. You're hearing those waves. Okay, you're sipping that pina colada. Or in my case, honey, it's rose day and maybe, you know, Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. All right, you are smelling your sunblock or whatever. You just see your senses are like, yes, you feel relaxed. You're just chilling. And again, this is because you deserve this. You earned it. Yeah. Okay. Now you're giving back. Maybe now you learned each one, teach one. Okay. So now you learned how to do something. Maybe now you're wholesaling, but now maybe wholesaling is not your full judge. Now you're just doing buy and hold, but wholesaling is still part of your wheel. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you want to teach a specific Thing about that no one's telling you have to go big but listen multiple streams of income so on your board if you want multiple streams of income you write multiple streams of income yes I tell you to get clear on what your goals are but I'm not telling you that you need to worry about how per se okay because when you believe don't worry about the how okay because one t you're gonna go somewhere something's gonna happen and you're gonna be like holy that that person was out of the blue that was out of the blue like this you know especially with the power of the internet it's just like crazy like what could happen okay so don't worry about that's never gonna happen to me man i i live in kentucky it's a real small town or like sipping on like you can't think like that okay yes go bigger okay so do your board do not limit yourself but I want you to believe what you put on that board, okay? So if, you know, a $5 million monetary figure is above your belief system, mm -hmm. I want you to go a little bit lower for now because I want you to believe it, okay? And then once you are, have that ability and you're opening your mind, because, again, it's a practice. Your mind is going to open because you're going to attract different people in your life and different circumstances. So you're going to evolve and you're going to grow, and then you're going to say, okay, I could see how I could do that now. And then you change it. But keep your belief system, okay? So maybe, like, you really want, like, a three-month hiatus, but you don't believe you could do a three-month hiatus. So maybe don't say a three-month hiatus right now because, remember, I need to believe it. Yeah. If you're not believing, we're blocking. If you're not believing, you're blocking, okay? So all these things that we're telling you, the gratitude journal, the morning gratitude ritual, control your thoughts. Your thoughts are energy, okay? Your thoughts are energy. Your thoughts are energy. I cannot express that enough. If you really understood the power of your thoughts, you'd be very mindful of where that head goes. Yes. Very mindful. And, you know, even though I've been practicing this, you know, I'm, I'm human. You know, I, I do think like bad things sometimes. Yeah. But you know what? I combat that. I'm like, the devil, honey. The devil doesn't live here. Well, that's what my mom says, you know? <laughs> That's the devil, honey, you know? Like, when you're thinking something dark, that's not coming from the higher power, honeys. Mm -mm. Okay? That's darkness. Mm -mm. Okay? So when you're starting to feel like that, you need to do something positive. Go to the gym. Yeah. Listen to music. If you feel like your life is so terrible, okay, go to a soup kitchen. Yeah. Go help people Thank who are worse you. off than you. Thank you. Okay? Self-pity does nothing. Yeah. Playing the victim does nothing. Go help someone and see how good that feels. And may I also add that the other practice that needs to be added to this is the power of reframing. Because a portion of reprogramming, a tool that I use is reframing. Because a lot of times there are some people that I've heard, some coworkers, where they, because they have this victim mindset, right? When you're a victim, when, it, when you have a victim mindset, um, it's hard for you to naturally develop an abundance mindset because the two conflict right? So yes. if someone else gets something, so you close a, a million dollar deal, Jennifer, the abundance mindset is, yes, yes, Jennifer, but a victim mindset is, why did Jennifer get that deal? I could have closed it better. Right. I could have done X, Y, Z. But right. when you have the right, when you have an abundant mindset, you, when you, I, 
I dead set. That's why I love Instagram and social media. When I see other people closing deals, I get so excited because for me, that affirms for me that it is real for me. Because yes. I know that I'm just like Jennifer. I'm just like, what is it? Raphael here. I'm just like Mike. We are all the same. We are all wonderful yeah. people doing wonderful things. So your win really is my win. Yes. I take ownership yeah. of your wins as if I get, you should see me. <laughs> Y'all should see me when I scroll through my feet. I'm like, oh, he closed. Like, I get so excited. Yes. <laughs> yes, because it is exciting. <laughs> Yes, it is. And it is. And that's why, you know, you're such a beautiful soul. Okay. There, you know, people, people, a lot of people do have a lack mentality yes, where they, they think like, my market is saturated. There's no way I, you, you think they're helping every single person that needs help? Mm -mm. No, they're not. Okay. When you have a lack mentality at the end of the day, you will receive lack. Cause you Okay. It's like the person, the people, it's so funny. Okay. Cause on my YouTube channel, like I don't hold back and I've actually had people write under some of my videos. Like you're giving them all the information. You're telling them everything. Why are you telling them everything? And it's like, get off my channel. Okay. <laughs> First of all. And if you know, cause the, I'm going to tell you one, another reason why I created that channel is because I know that a lot of people deal with people, again, a problem with society, and it's a problem in every aspect of society, medicine, food, is that people value money over people. Yeah. People value money over people. People value money over people. People value money over people. So what it is is that people will do a YouTube channel, YouTube video. They'll have this catchphrase that's like clickbait, and that's going to tell you, I'm going to show you how to do ABC. And then when the person watches the video, they're like 35, 40 minutes into it. They haven't told them jack squat. They just confuse them more. And they said, click up for this link to sign up to my email so I could send you something so you could buy my product where I could barely teach you how to do anything. Yeah. So this is a society that we live in. It's very unfortunate. And I get haters have come to my YouTube channel and said, you're giving it to them all. But you know what? That's why I have a waiting list because people want to work with me. Okay. It, it's not, I'm going to give it to you, but I'm telling you, you could do this. Here's your information. But some people just want more, yeah. you know, they want like accountability or it's not, they're not, they're not, you're not going to lose business, honey, because I'm telling them, telling them what to do. You know what I'm saying? That's a lack mentality. And that's why people give you, they're like, Oh, you can't tell people everything. I know there's a big thing that people say you can't tell everything. You can't tell them everything. I don't, I'm not a believer of that. Because like I said, you could lead a horse to water, okay? Exactly. You know, but you can't force them to drink it. And the thing is that when I give away a lot of free content, you know, there's going to be a lot of people, it's human nature, that they don't value the free content because it's free. Yep. Okay? So, you know, that's why there's a saying that goes, when you pay, you pay attention. When you pay, you pay attention. And my husband was telling me this because, you know, as I was getting a lot of, you know, my YouTube channel, I would get a lot of emails and I, I would literally be up really late at night answering these people's questions. And my husband's like, babe, like, really? Like, and I, hence, I, I started to do consulting yeah. simply because I can't help everyone. I'm only one person yeah. and I understand that. And I'm, like I said, I'm a giver. Okay. So. My point is that I don't believe in that the lack mentality is only going to have you make you have lack. If you think your market is saturated, it is saturated. Thank okay. You. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's always someone that could is. Yeah. You think that the two big honchos in your market are helping every single person. Mm -mm. No, they're not honey. You're going to offer something different. You're going to be authentic. You're not going to be a shark. I always tell people, listen, you're afraid to cold call. You're afraid to do this business. You know, the reason why I hear a lot of people want to do this because they say they want to help people. You have to remember that there is that person that the husband passed away or the person's sick with cancer, can't work anymore, and they're stressing out about this. And you're looking for the person that needs your help. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay? Yes, there are going to be people, if you're cold calling, they're going to be nasty to you. They're going to, you know, maybe they do need your help, but they're not ready right now because they're in denial if it's a pre-foreclosure. Yeah. Okay? They're in denial or someone passed away there they have to go through the emotions okay and you the person that's ready and needs your help you will eventually find them it's a numbers game okay when we're talking about 
you know, wholesaling. Okay, wholesaling, the reason why I couple mindset with wholesaling is because wholesaling is not for the faint of heart. If you're the type of person that is, you know, going to do one direct mail campaign and put out 50 bandit signs and then never do anything else again and then say the business doesn't work, that's not the case, honey. You didn't work the business. Okay? It's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. You have to be consistent. That is the key to wholesaling. Now, you know, for me, wholesaling, you know, is a means to an end, you know, because at the end of the day, wholesaling is a hustle, yes. you know, unless, you know, it's, it's a hustle. At the end of the day, everyone, the goal is to buy properties, not flip, just flip, you know, rehab flip. You don't want to just rehab flip. Okay. You want whole properties yeah. because you want the passive income and you want the tax benefits because when you're flipping contracts and you're flipping uh properties it's a huge capital gain and you're getting taxed out of the wazoo okay so you want to play the game to win and listen everyone could say oh taxes stink blah 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 but if you learn how to play the game to work for you you can make it work for you so the goal yes What's, what's beautiful about wholesaling is that it's teaching you a foundation of how to understand what is a good deal. Yep. It's teaching you to fish for yourself. Because I can't tell you how many investors don't know how to fish for themselves. Meaning, they rely heavily on the MLS, on, you know, foreclosure.com, blah, 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 blah. They don't know how to market to find their own deals. Mm -hmm. Wholesaling allows you to learn how to fish for yourself. So you're never fully reliant on the MLS or auctions or this or that. Okay, so wholesaling could always be a part of your wheel, okay, because it's capital now. But I'm telling you to never make it your whole end all be all, okay? You want to have passive income. Example, let's just say you get one rental property this year. Let's talk about real estate really quick. I have a couple of things I love to add. <laughs> let's go, baby. Okay? Um, first of all, let's just say you get one rental property in, in, in 2020. Okay, and then, so that and the rental property is one thousand dollars, and then maybe the following year you end up getting three. Okay, so now you have four thousand dollars a month. That's mailbox money. We're talking about gross, of course. So you have your expenses. Okay, but we're going gross. The goal is to buy them right so they cash flow, and each year they're going to cash flow more, and then you could use those assets to. It's called B R R R. There's a couple of books I should recommend. Um. Um, and I'm sure you guys have heard of it, so, but let me go real quick. Hold on. Go get it. Go get it. Ooh, how y'all doing? Y'all got your notebooks out? I have my notebook and pen. I have my notebook. <laughs> I have my notebook and pen. I should get some cute dogs. Notebooks and pens. And the means. All right. So. <laughs> when you buy, when you get a property and you buy it all cash, okay, you make the money on the buy. Okay, get very excited about this because it's just, it creates real wealth. Yes, Jez, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here's the book. Okay. Oh, I've seen that before. Okay. We have rent, refinance, repeat. Whenever you have people talking about the Burr method, this is what it is. Yeah. Okay, this book is by David Green. Okay, now basically this is the, what he's talking about. He's talking about buying a property cash, whether you use hard money, okay, whether you have family members that you go in with. Okay, you're buying it under market value, you're rehabbing it, and now, so let's just say you bought it for $50,000, you put $20,000 into it, 50, 60, 70, now once it's appraised, it's worth like a buck 20, so now, there, when you refinance it, you're getting, it's usually 70% of the ARV, okay, so I don't have a calculator, but let's just say you get $30,000 out of that one property, boo-boo, okay, 30 grand, out of that one property. So now you have a down payment for the next one, and then you use hard money or private money. You know, the goal is to never use all your own liquid. Yes. You want to leverage, leverage other people's money, okay? And then that one property could propel you to now get into three, but maybe you don't feel comfortable doing three reha rehabs at once. That's okay, okay? Do one. Do what you feel okay with. Don't over, you know, commit yourself as well. Yeah. Okay, but learn to play the game because when you have property, you get tax benefits. You write off a lot of things for the property. Okay, I'm not going to go into that. My point is to start. Don't overthink. Go for it. You make the money on the buy. Okay, 
a lot of people talk about house hacking. That's like a, to me, that's a marketing phrase. I did that before it was house hacking. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. So that's when you this. check. Okay. That's when you actually, again, buy a property under market value. You utilize an FHA 203k loan. Okay. FHA is a first time homeowner loan. Instead of putting down uh, 20% for an investment mm -hmm. property, you're going to put down 3.5%. Mm -hmm. Okay. 5%. Um, and so let's just say you buy a duplex. You live on one side. Now, don't get something that's far off, okay? Just maybe something that needs cosmetic rehab that you could live in right off the gate, right out of the gate, okay? You, the 203K is going to give you money. You're not going to have out of pocket, honey. Your only out of pocket is going to be that 3.5% down payment in your closing costs. The 203K is going to pay for the rehab. Okay, so now you're rehabbing yours, you're rehabbing the other one, then you put a tenant in there, that's going to pay for your, you're gonna, it's going to pay for your mortgage drawings, and you're going to live rent free. Well, you're going to own your asset, okay, but you're not going to have like this mortgage that you're paying, it's going to pay for itself. Do you understand the power in that? Yeah. Okay, you have to learn to play the game to win, as essentially it's a game, unfortunately, Okay. And you have to, if you don't learn to play it right, you're just going to complain and be one of those people who are like, oh, they're out to get me. The government, they're out to get me, man. Look at all the taxes that come out of my paycheck. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like, you have to play the game to win, guys. This is your year. Yes. Look in. If you, if you have good credit, man, you could bypass wholesaling. Wholesaling is a strategy, okay? You don't, not everyone needs to do whole, like, you don't need to do wholesale. Please say that. Okay? You don't need, wholesaling not is... Carry on. No, it's not. No, it's not. And it's not for the faint of heart. Like, not a, it's, 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 a, it's a trial and tribulation, okay? And it could really, like, you know, if you're not a thick-skinned person, like, it could really mess you up. You got to be strong. That's why we talk about mindset, because you're like, I don't know. Why does everyone seem to be winning, and I'm still here, like, not winning? Yes. What am I doing wrong? Okay? If you have good credit, my people, you don't have, you could skip right over wholesaling. You have some money. Why don't you, listen, you're not stuck on where you live or maybe where you live, you could get a nice two family. You do the 203K method, like I just told you. Okay? And live in your investment property. Okay? Yes, it's going to be a little bit scary. You're like, what the hell am I doing? You know? Like, what am I doing? <laughs> life is too short not to take the risk yes. take the risk man you you make the money on the buy if you know that you bought it right don't get emotional if you know that you bought it right and you know what the after repair value is going to be okay that's the that's the value once it's all fixed up and pretty what it's going to be worth okay and you're going to win all day long and you're going to get addicted you're going to get addicted like a game that i recommend is a game it's called cash flow it's by robert kiyosaki that game is to, tell you, to, to help you get out of the uh, rat race, okay? You ain't getting out of the rat race, honey, but a savings account that's paying nothing, a 401k that's lazy AF, mm -hmm. okay? See, lazy, lazy. We want our money working. Isn't it crazy? First of all, the banks, they, they charge us for everything. And then they have the audacity to say, Miss West Granahan, why are you taking this money out? Yes, your own why money. Am I, why am I taking my own money out? <laughs> what? You got... Your own money. Are you kidding me? Okay. Call corruption, honey. Because you know what they do with your money without your consent? They're taking that money yep. and they're investing in it. And they're making more money on your money. And then they're charging you at the ATM. They're charging you for this fee, that fee, blah, 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 blah. But we, listen, you can't focus on that. You got to do you. Yes. And you got to learn to play the game to win. At the end of the day, the banking system is not 100% right. It's like legal corruption at the end of the day. It is. Okay. But look, Instagram Legal is when we talk about those subjects. So let's go back to this vision board or credit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, really? Mm. All right. That's the reason why this is my last live on Instagram. I am telling you, man. I am telling I've had some trying times on this platform. Okay. All right. So uh, back to the vision board. Yeah. So now. <laughs> I'm telling you guys that these exercises that we gave you tonight are extremely powerful. Yes. Okay. The vision board itself, I told you my husband manifested a road trip. Okay, honey? I, we didn't know where that road trip was coming, but he did it because I was like, it ain't me. Okay? <laughs> my point is that do the vision board. 
put your music on get delusional in your practice mm -hmm. okay if you're wholesaling do a whiteboard with your deals on it okay and say you know 11 smith street real streets in your area okay 11 smith street 10k deal set to close march 2nd two da -da 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 -da. like do a whiteboard with these deals that are in the pipeline for you okay and be like oh my god you know so you feel like you're in abundance you know because when you feel like that sense of desperation it, that, unfortunately, that's a toxic energy and you're blocking. You know, like, oh man, I need that check, I need that check, I need that check. You're blocking, you're blocking, you're blocking, you're blocking, you're blocking. Do the whiteboard, put your deals on there that, that are in the pipeline set to close. See them, be excited about it. You know, put it where you eat, where you're going to see it every day and be like, yes, that's great. Help that person. I have that one going on. I'm going to be doing this one. Okay, I'm, I'm, so when you're cold calling, you don't have that feeling of like desperation. Yes. Or when you're doing that... That bandit sign campaign or that direct mail campaign, you're like, oh my God, something got to give. No, you're looking at what you already have. Remember, you have to feel as though you're already there. That is the key to manifesting. If you still feel, you know, negative in your present moment, you're going to block your blessings. I'm telling you, it is a practice that it's called a practice for a reason you need to practice. It needs to be daily. Commit to 21 days. 2020 is upon us. I would love to hear updates, and I would love for Gia to get updates and tell me, oh, my God, I watched your live, and oh, my God, look what happened. Like, yes, okay? Like, you, I can't tell you if you're on this live. I'm t I can't stress this enough that you indeed have the power. You need to believe. You need to set your intention. You need to get clear. Know that you deserve it. And you have to play make-believe. You see what we did. Yeah. Right? She got Gary V, homeboy. Yeah. Okay? Like, I mean, like, you have to play make-believe. Yeah. Like, it just, it is what it is. The, the power the thing, of though, your magic. I'm sorry. Sorry, to interrupt. But it's not even being make-believe. No, no. To me, I play it as, no, this is just rehearsals. Because it's gonna happen. Yes, yes. It's just rehearsals. Yes. Same thing. You know? Yeah. Like, whatever works in your brain, you know, to make this, you know, work for you, yeah. you do what works for you, mm -hmm. but you have to do it. You have to do the work. Nobody is coming to save you, honey. Nobody could do the work in your mind, but you, nobody. Nobody could tell Jennifer, you better control those thoughts, girl. You better do this, blah, blah, blah. Nobody could do that for you, but you, yeah. nobody. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, stay away from the news. It does nothing for you, okay? Stay away from the newspapers. It does nothing for you, okay? St you know, unfortunately, you're going to have to lose the people who are those dead bolts in your life, okay? Whether it's family or friends, um, keep what you're doing to yourself. If you know that these people are not going to support you, okay, listen, I'm a very private person to begin with anyway. Like, I tell my husband, and, you know, you know like, I'm not out there putting, everyone's different. You know, I don't put everything out, as my mom would like to call, on the street. Yeah. <laughs> I don't put everything out on the street, Okay. Like, you know, I don't need to prove anything, okay? I'm telling you that me doing this practice has allowed me to really step into my greatness. Yeah. And help people along the way, Jennifer. That's what you don't realize. Yes. You that's a lot of people and that, along the way, Jennifer. Thank you. And that's, and that's what I mean. Because that, I know that that is my, that is my purpose. That's why... You know, I, I have to be authentic to myself. And I, I will never be that person who's just, you know, all the fluff. And, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, look what I did. Here's another check. This, here's my money. Here's my money. Like, people want it. How do I get there? Yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you how you could do it, okay? For some people, it's not bright and shiny enough. Mm -hmm. I understand, okay? I'm, 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 I'm very sad for you. I'm very sad for you that you need to see the bright and shiny, okay? The bright and shiny is like that temporary fix. That's why people have that information overload on YouTube or whatever. They're like, I see this, I see this, I want this, I want this. Get rich quick, blah, 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 okay? It all starts within, my friends, okay? You have the power. That's why it's so exciting, and that's why we're so excited to share this. And listen, it's a practice. I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy, but I'm going to tell you it's going to be worth it. And you're going to have your trials and tribulations. Can I just tell you how many times, like, I would cry in the shower or cry 
on you know the treadmill at the gym and because I was sweating you really couldn't tell I was crying but I was crying because I was just like man like I don't understand like you know you're doing all this work and you're like I don't understand and you're just frustrated but you know like the system situation like the nine to five like even though people were like oh you make the good money like well I don't understand mind your business it's not about that my soul was dying yeah. okay my soul was dying okay and you know, being an entrepreneur is not necessarily the easier route. Okay, both of them are hard. Yeah. You know, in their own way. But for some people, I'm like, man, I even told my husband this years ago. I mean, I'm like, I wish I could be like these people. They seem so happy. And they're like mediocrity. Wow. You know, like ev everyone copies each other. Everyone's like, you know, oh, she has that stroller. I got to get that stroller. She has that pocket. I got to get that pocket. But I'm like, if you have it, I don't want it. And I got to do me. I got that just doesn't, it's not, it wasn't the monetary figure. It was like, my soul is dying. Yeah. So if I have to start from zero again, and that's exactly what I did. I started from zero again. <sighs> Scary as hell. I moved back home. Okay. I got, I, you know, there's that saying that goes, you take five step backwards to take 20 forward. Yeah. And it was very scary. It was like, you know, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. But that was a true test of myself and your practice and your desire and your belief. And you have to trust the process, but you have to be consistent. Yeah. Okay. And believe. So if I were to leave you with a couple of things, I will tell you that you have to be consistent mm -hmm. in anything that you're doing. You have to be, you have to believe in yourself and your goals mm -hmm. and know that you deserve it. Know that it's there. If you see it, it's there, okay? You just have to match that vibrational frequency, but that's being very mindful of where your thoughts are going. And remember, we have like a bazillion thoughts every two seconds. Mm -hmm. So if you have a hard time, your thoughts is the hard time, you have to really focus on the good in your life. Mm -hmm. Bring it to like, oh my God, thank God I have my health. You know, thank God I have this meal to eat, okay? If you have to just bring it back to something very basic, that's what you need to do to get your brain out of crazy thoughts yeah. that are not serving you. They're not serving you, okay? And do your gratitude and your morning gratitude ritual. Do your vision board, okay? And, and that's what, what I have to leave with you. And know that you're a limitless being. And you're meant for more. You're feeling that you're meant for more because you are. I know, it's powerful. I needed this so okay. badly, like Jennifer. You had no you know? idea. I yeah, and I know. So and you know, bad. one of the things, one of the things that, you, that people as entrepreneurs that we need to do for ourselves, and it's not the easiest thing, is that you have to learn to be your own cheerleader. Yes. You know, I learned that this year. Yes. Okay. You have to learn to be your own cheerleader because there's not always going to be someone on the sidelines cheering for you. Okay. So it's like the best hair cutter in the world cannot give him a, himself a haircut. Exactly. You know, so you have to be a cheerleader for yourself. Do your best to do it. Come out of your own self and say, you know, what would you say if that was what your, you know, your sister, okay, or your mother? And say, listen, because especially as women, okay, women tend to be way more hard on themselves than men. Yes. You know, women are more like, I'm not doing enough. You know, I'm not, this is not, I should be further. Like, I'm, I don't know, what am I doing wrong? Like, I, blah, blah, blah. we're very hard on ourselves. So we, and I'm telling you from experience, because I'm, I, my husband says it all the time. You're too hard on yourself, Jennifer. You're too hard on yourself. And, and I know I am, but, you know, I, I just strive to be the best me. And it brings me like, it's me a little bit emotional because you can't see yourself. You know, whenever I meet someone, they're like, you know, you're so humble. Yes, you and, are. And that's just how I am. And I, it's so crazy. Like, you know, I'm so humble, but because I'm human and I'm, I'm just a person just like everyone else. And, you know, we're trying all in this world, trying to find our way, you know? So, you know, be kind to people, be grateful. Okay. Help that person out. Don't keep all the information and help them tell them information. If they don't choose to use it, you at least gave them the advice. Exactly. You gave value to them. You helped them in that way. Before you know, we, before we wrap up, I have to say a couple of things, which is one, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Two, <laughs> thank you, two, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, 
you shared some books in regards to uh, real estate. What books do you help? Because my thing is, if we have to self-propel ourselves, how can we edify ourselves? So what books, what podcasts, how do you feed yourself? How do you feed your soul so that you can continue to be your own cheerleader? You know what's so funny is I don't overdo any of that. Hmm. I'm going to tell you that it's a, a lot of it is... Because to me now, it's to a point where a lot of it seems like noise. Um, and I don't know if that resonates with, any, with anyone. So for me, it's more I have to tell myself to be silent, which is the meditation. Two is my gratitude. And three is helping others. And I learn by doing. So I mean, I wish I could give you all these like things that I listen to, but I have to be honest. Like, I don't, I really have edited it to like, it really takes a lot for me to listen to something because a lot of it is just like, it, it feels a little bit like noise because I've listened to so much in the past. Like I love Tony Robbins, you know, I love um, Deepak Chopra, you know, I love like a lot of it just seems like, and it's not like you never know everything. Okay. But a lot of it just seems like noise. Now it's like, for me, I need to really be more centered in my own practice and connect with the higher power and, and trust and trust myself, you know, you know, as far as education, you know, I mean, let's see, edu there's one book that I could recommend. It's by Dr. Joe Espinoza. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to, it's called, um, God, if I go to it, I, I feel like I might hang up on you because it's in my audible.com. It's okay. Um, maybe I'll send it to you. It's by Dr. Joe Espinosa. But basically, he's teaching you mm -hmm. the practice of meditating uh -huh. and reprogramming your subconscious. Gotcha. Okay. So it's Dr. Joe Espinosa mm -hmm. and Dr. Espinosa? Oh my God, I could be totally messing that up. But basically, um, it's basically saying uh, how to get out of yourself or something. Okay. And I, you know, I'm totally beating it up. But as soon as I end this, I'm going to send you it, um, a picture of it, so you could post it for your people. Yes. Um, okay. And that's basically the science rewire of meditating. Is that it? Is it rewire, rewire your brain? By Joe Espinosa. Yep. No. That's not the name of it. Keep going. Okay. I'll keep looking. Keep talking. <laughs> okay. So. Um, so for me in my journey right now is to more be, is it, uh, Dispenza? Oh, Dispenza. LOA. Dispenza. It's okay though. Yeah. She's like Dispenza. Thank okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, to be quiet and, you know, listen to the messages that I'm receiving from source in guiding me. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and if you're, I don't know where you are on your journey for some people that probably sounds so crazy, no, you know, but you know, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be talking to Gia right now because I wouldn't have had my YouTube channel and I'm very private. I wouldn't be doing any of this stuff on social media because to me, social media could be just so much noise. Yeah. Okay. And so much noise. And, you know, another thing if you, that I would love for you to get out of this is to don't compare yourself to other people. Everyone's journey is different. If I compared myself to other people, like I probably, if Instagram was around when I first started, I would probably... I would probably just probably maybe feel a little bit sad because it took me a long time to get to my first deal. Yeah. Okay. I'm you know, so my first deal, I've been at it for 12 months. But okay. And that was me. I, yeah. I keep going. And the reason why I utilize social media is because I recognize that my greatest cheerleaders are on this platform. And I also recognize that I'm brave enough to share my journey here. And I know this yes. can help someone else. A hundred percent. Girl, so you're gonna so I wanna give you some actionable steps, okay? So in your gratitude journal, <laughs> okay, you're gonna write well now what market are you in? I'm in the Northern Virginia market, right outside DC. Okay, okay. So you're in a decent market. Yeah. So your 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 um contract could be at least fifteen to twenty thousand. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because there are people who I wanna just say twenty thousand. So you need to write a check to yourself okay. to death. And you need to write a check for $20,000, okay? In your business name, in your name, say it's an assignment fee, okay? Now we're in, we're approaching January. I want you to date it March 1st, 
okay? Uh-huh. March 1st. Yes, ma'am. I want you to make sure you're being diversified in your marketing because everyone's market is different. Some people, bandit signs work better. So I want you to put out at least, you know, if budget provides, I would like you to, I would like you to put out at least 100, and I know this sounds like a lot, 100 to between 100 and 200 bandit signs for the month. I had to be strategic because the state of well, my area is really tricky with bandit signs. They are, I had to use something a little more different okay 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 so you tweak it out for yourself make sure that make sure that you continue to drive for dollars those are the golden gems it's an oldie but it's a goodie okay um they're not on all the lists be mindful okay be nosy okay be nosy okay (laughs) trust me you're gonna find you talk to the neighbors they tell you everything you won't even have to skip tracing honey they're like well this husband died and she moved to south carolina okay and you tell them you give them a referral fee they're like okay here her number okay um you know utilize free subscriptions my rei pro to get a list don't just do a direct mail campaign don't do absentee homeowners when you're first starting out Okay, that's a waste of money because it's a gamble. Direct mail is a gamble to begin with. So I'm going to tell you, you want to choose people who are motivated, motivated list. Okay, so like high equity, vacant, pre foreclosure is great. Um, um, and you could get free lists like this from my REI Pro. My REI Pro. They have. It used to be a 30 day subscription, honey, but I think they're on to the fact that I'm telling people about these free subscription and they're canceling it. Because budget is tight when you're first starting out. So now it's 14-day subscription. But in that 14-day, you could pull some lists that you could yeah. use, okay? S- skip tracing, fast people search is really good, and it's free, okay? It's really good. It gives you phone number. It's pretty accurate. Like, look yourself up and see, like, if you're correct, look up a couple of your family members, see, okay, that's correct. Then you, it probably works great in your market, Okay. Um, and just know, and then visualize that check girl that you've already closed it, signed it. Oh, yeah, for sale by owners. For sale by owners, reach out to for sale by owners. They're delusional, but they're still a free lead. <laughs> if you have, a, if you have um, an, an investor-friendly realtor, yeah, you want them to pull you an expired listing, an expired listing list. Okay, expired list. But it needs to be strategic. Right now, I'm giving you something that I actually teach my people. Okay, this is like magic. A lot of people, a lot of agents even don't know how to do this. You, want, you don't want them to just filter regular expireds, okay? Because that's a waste. You want them to filter. It has to be certain keywords. So in my MLS, it's the remarks section. In, in their MLS, it could be comments. I don't know. Whatever the realtor writes their remarks. And the keywords that you want her to filter, you want, you want it to have these keywords are cash, TLC, 203K, Handyman special, investor, vacant. Now, the reason why we're choosing those keywords is because if it has those keywords in that remark section, we're pretty sure that the property needs work. Because we don't want her to pull expired listings and you just get all these pretty houses. We're not interested in that. We're looking for a wholesale deal that needs work. Okay? So now you get that list. Now, an expired listing, why I love expired listings, they're better than for sale by owners, is because a for sale by owner has not been educated by the market. Whereas an expired listing, they've already been listed for six months to a year. And they're like, they already know that their property ain't selling for the price they sold it at. If they were motivated then, now they're even more motivated now. They had an agent that they were paying 4 to 6%. Now you're calling as a cash buyer. They're like, oh, okay, she don't need no realtor fee. That's great. Oh, okay. She gonna pay me cash. I don't have to wait for an appraisal on a mortgage, which we know could take up to through two and three months. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't have to have open houses every weekend. Oh, okay. Like it's just they're open to you. Yeah. Okay. They're open to you. So that's why they're a better lead. You could also have her use the MLS to find cash buyers. There's three a lot of different ways you could use the MLS. You're gonna use those same keywords that I gave you for the expireds. The only thing that you're gonna have her add is you're gonna have her add mortgage type. Mortgage type, okay? And the mortgage type that we want is cash because we want deals that... Okay, let's bring her on. Let's bring my beautiful Jennifer on. Let's see. Uh... Let's bring her on. Hello for the people coming in. If you want access to the replay, 
you know what to do. Text replay to 31996. Hello. Instagram is rude and disrespectful. Jennifer, you have the floor, my love. <laughs> it's all good, but you know what? Just like wholesaling in any business, we are resilient, darling. Yes. We will not give up, okay? We fall, and we're getting right back up, darling, okay? <laughs> Keep going. Can't stop, won't Can't stop. Because okay? what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. <laughs> Okay, so we're all good. We're all good. So we're here. So listen, I was right in the meat of it. Yes. Okay, I was right. In, I was right in the meat of. It. I was telling you the power of the MLS. Do you need it for your business? No, you do not. Is it helpful to you? Extremely. In several ways. One, it gives you free leads. The expired listings that I just told you how to how to have the realtor weed out for you. Okay, with those keywords: cash, investor, vacant, TLC. 203k handyman special okay now you keep that same filter you add mortgage type you're gonna put cash because now we want the cash deals that were closed that needed help that needed work so now what is that gonna help you do it's gonna help you do two things one it's gonna help you find cash buyers okay because you're gonna get real cash buyers because when you have the MLS it allows you to pull a public record and it lets you see who bought it okay then you could send a, a letter to these cash buyers. I see you bought ABC property. I have more in that area. You know, Baba, contact me, Baba, Baba, Baba. Okay, trust me, these buyers want your help. So you're not, it's not like you're being invasive to them. They want it. Think of fast forward to the time that you are. I literally just bought a property from a wholesaler. And um, it, it's like you come full circle. You, I have a respect for them because I understand. I understand it. Okay? And you you understand the grind okay so all right so now you're using it to find cash buyers but you're also doing it because this when you're a wholesale okay i'm not going to go over all of it because we're, we're me and gia are running short on time honey okay <laughs> but when you do this the formula to figure out where your offer should be it's usually like arv which is after repair value times 70 percent minus repairs minus your fee equals the maximum allowable offer yep. That formula is not foolproof, mm -hmm. okay? Because that time 70% could be 80%, could be 85, could be 65. It's not foolproof. So now when you are filtering those cash closed deals, you are seeing what your buyers are paying for them, darlings, okay? So if you're seeing that the average price is like 90K, you know that if you come 90K, a little bit less, a little bit more, that's where you need to be priced. Don't overthink the repairs. You know, look at it, say, oh, okay, does this look like mine? Is this a gut? Is it cosmetic? Okay, so I could price mine around this. You don't even need to do that ARV time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you could just look at what they're buying them for, okay? And then you know where to price your contract. It's like, boom, okay? Don't overcomplicate things, okay? Don't get over in your head too much. Okay, so that's how you could use the MLS to your advantage. Do you need it? No. Is it helpful? Extremely. Knowledge is power. When I first started, you know, I was blessed enough. Listen, I emailed. I can't, I probably emailed because I am like relentless, honey. Yes, that's my word, I am man. That's my word. Lentless. Yes. I emailed a ton of real estate agents. Okay, I'm a real, I mean, I'm an investor. Blah, 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 blah. I wanted to, I really just wanted to get access. Yeah. Okay. And I remember the one, the, uh, I, I got access from three people. And one of the guys that I really worked with, he was a younger realtor. And he wasn't jaded by the old realtors like, oh, you can't do this. And it was just like, he was a gem. He did everything I wanted. And meanwhile, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was learning as I went along, <laughs> honey. Okay. Chanta McCollins, mama, I see you. I see you. Chanta's one of my girls from back in the day, okay? One of my first students. Um, what's up, Investor Driven? So you got to be re relentless, man. You cannot give up. If this is what you want to do, you not give up. But like I said, you could skip wholesaling, but wholesaling is a good learning experience for you to know deals for yourself going forward. My sweet Al okay? has a question real quick. She says, how can you access the MLS if you don't have a realtor? I think you just addressed that, but... I just want you to answer. So if you don't have a realtor, how you want to, you want to network. So you either want to go to your local REI meeting, okay? Because if they're at that REI meeting, safe to say they're investor friendly. Yes. 
okay? So you could say, listen, you know, and I didn't do this with mine. Like, I didn't barter with him, but I teach my students to barter with them because everybody wants, like, a gain, okay? So the gain is that, listen, I get a lot of leads that, I, that do not go into wholesale deals. So if you're not licensed, you could say, listen, I'm going to throw you leads, but I don't need a referral fee. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to give it to you and, you know, they're going to be motivated and they're going to get a commission on it. Yep. So it's a bartering. Mm -hmm. So in exchange for your MLS, I am going to give you the leads that I can't use, mm -hmm. which are a lot. Yep. Okay, You're ba you, uh, these agents spend a lot of money on Zillow, Trulia to pay for these leads. So when I tell you that if they don't get that, they're not the realtor for you. There's someone else that you want a younger hustling one. Because when I was doing what I was doing, the younger one said, you know, the agent, you know, the agent I was working with was talking to the older realtors and they're like, oh, she can't do that and blah, blah, blah. I was like, bro, don't listen to them. I'm telling you that you can. And, you know, he was more open to it. You know, if you're dealing with someone who's not enclosed minded and listen, wholesaling in some states has become illegal. Yeah. Not illegal. But you have to just get your realtor license. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Not a big deal. Like if you're in Ohio is one, and I don't know where else. Okay, but everywhere else is legal, honey. Where else is it? Not Illinois. Guys, comment below if you think Oh yeah. Think yes, Illinois. Illinois. Uh -huh. You're right. Okay, Illinois and Ohio and, and Ohio. Okay. So but that don't let that stop you. Okay? It's just a little speed bump. Not a big deal. Okay? If you cannot handle speed bumps then you need to stick to your nine to five yeah. where you just get your paycheck and you're okay with your paycheck every month and blah, blah. Cause as an entrepreneur, honey, you're having months where you make no money. Yeah. So you got to be real careful where you put that budget, but I'm telling you guys the power of the mind. And I know this is not the, for the faint of heart. I just want you guys to control your mind or it's going to control you. Yeah. Think out of the box, think out of the box. Maybe go, I, one of the things that I said in my, one of my YouTube videos is go to a higher price point. And I'm not saying go to a luxury price point, but go to a higher price point or a lower price point. Don't be afraid to work in the lower markets, okay? You know, because people say, I don't invest in those markets. There are buyers for those markets, honey, and they farm areas. They go like this, okay? When I first started, I was like, no, I can't, I can't go in those markets. And I remember talking to an investor. He's like, I go wherever I get paid. Facts. Okay? <laughs> He's like, I go where I get paid, homegirl. So if it's in the G E S T T T O, what you think is the ghetto, I'm going there because I get paid. Yes. So don't be closed minded. Don't think you know everything. Be open. Take action. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Be consistent. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. If you know someone, create a mini mastermind, even if it's the two of you a mastermind like this to hold each other accountable and say okay did you do your bandit signs did you do your cold calling did you do your expired listings because even the most perfect person needs someone to hold them accountable and root for each other and say yes girl you could do it because maybe you one's down the other one's low one's low the other one's down and you're saying gia you got this girl okay you got this i just got a lead today girl you have no idea and then you're like okay and that inspired you and like i'm gonna keep going get an accountability partner feed your mind don't be in the analysis paralysis mode where you're constantly getting information and not taking action. You have to apply. You're never going to know everything. Yeah. I didn't know my ass from my elbow. And my husband, my, who was a boyfriend at the time, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Um, my husband at the time, I needed, I was doing, at this point, I was trying to do REOs. And I remember I paid like a $500 consulting fee to this attorney who I was basically educating him, okay, on how to do double code. Blah, blah. So the point is that my husband believed in, my boyfriend at the time believed in me so much that he actually took, because I didn't have it, he took the $10,000 check and, you know, so I could give a copy of it to show it for the bank. And, you know, he, he just believed in me. Yeah. How much of a big responsibility is that? I was like, I can't mess this up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so listen, guys, believe in yourself. Have that positive energy. Watch what you attract, man. It's like, it's magical. I'm sweating thinking about this. The reason why Gia and I connect, listen, I feel a kinship with Gia, and I just met, I just met this lovely woman. Are we having a moment, Jennifer? 100%. 100%. Can we get some 100%. 
A hundred percent. You know why? It's because we share the same mindset, the same core values. Our souls connect. We're like connected. Okay. And it, that's what I'm saying. It's a beautiful thing when you find your people and that's the power of social media. You find your tribe and you guys want to all see each other win. So with that said, I know that Gia has a journal she wants to talk to you about. You guys could find me on Instagram, Jennifer West Granahan. I will tell you my old channel is still hacked on YouTube, but you could find me on YouTube at Jennifer West Granahan Temporary Channel. I do have a six-week mentoring program. It's only for action-oriented people. I am not going to coddle you. I am going to be, you know, t tell you how it really is if I feel like you're not doing the work because you're not going to waste my time, your time, and your money, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you're interested in that, you reach out to me, create next level success at gmail.com, or you could just reach out to me. You know, there's an email thing on Instagram, call it a day. If you're ready to do the work, I'm ready to help you. You lead a horse to water, you can't force them to drink it. So I was so, I'm so grateful that you, as soon as you reached out to me, I'm like, yeah, of course. For the record, for anyone who does not know, this is my very last live here on Instagram because of obvious reasons. This has been so incredibly disruptive. Um, we're moving these lives over to YouTube. So the same lives are going to be done every single week, same time, just different location. We're doing the same live interviews on YouTube. So when you text replay to this number, I'll be able to give you a text notification when we go live so you can never miss a beat. Because I'm blessed to be able to talk to amazing people like Jennifer. And there's more people that actually have given me goosebumps who want to come on and talk. And I don't want you guys to miss out. So once again, text replay to 31996. Please and thank you.